Hi guys, welcome to Ted Rebel Gaming. I'm Ed, and today we are carrying on with our FC OS Football Manager 2018 save. It's season two episode. I just recorded another episode. I've got no idea what episode it is. I have a feeling it is episode 10. Um, we're just on my manager page here, studying for a National A license. Those that are interested, working with the answers is terrible, which is weird considering that's what I love doing. That sounds weird as well. Stats aren't great, 35% win percentage, fluent in Dutch, Chris Coleman hates me. Oh, and they just decided to draw the fact that we're playing Telstra in the first round of the playoffs. Uh, but then I'm very confused how it works because I think there was a pre-round to this. It's all very confusing. Oh, this is the Ir I almost did it again. The Erdivisie playoff first round, first leg, we're playing Telstra, so it's two legs. The winners play Excelsior, who we have played and beaten this season in the cup, which is interesting. So Telstra must have, I believe, I haven't even checked this yet. No, they've just gone straight into the second round, so I'm very confused. I can only assume somewhere that a couple of teams played and they are in the other side of the playoffs. All very strange, though, but if we win these two games... I then don't know if it's one or two legs against Excelsior, but we'll see. So, since we last met... Oh, no, don't proceed to the match. Not a lot's happened. It's been about a week, but the injury crisis has struck again. So, Hagenars came back and then got injured the very same day. Vinny Yes, who you're yet to see at left back, he came back from his suspension and got injured. Glenn Bill is suspended, as you know. Van Willem picked up a minor injury between games. It's just, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. So I'm sticking with the same formation, but the team has changed a little bit. So Tian Dali, just before his retirement, is coming in at right back. He is not looking great, is he? But he'll have to do experience, you know. Uh, additionally, because Van Winnen is tired, I've moved backboard into balling midfielder on defend, which is probably a mistake because he's done so well this season, scoring goals and getting assists and stuff like that. But... He's all right. He's better than most of our other options. I'm scared about playing Jeremy Van Mullen just now. I know he's good, but I think we need a physical presence in there. So we've actually brought Halil Erbe back into centre mid on support, which I know seems a bit weird, but I'm sort of hoping he'll bring the best of his role and a bit of centre mid support. So we've actually got him and Fatih Kamachi on the pitch at the same time. So we'll see how it goes. But let's get into the game. I've got no idea what to expect. Telstar... Can we play him on camera at some point? It's been quite even between us though. But here we go. Playoffs. Playoffs. First leg win would do the world of good. Don't be stressed. Come off of it. Are you kidding me? How can you be stressed? There's a lot more to come. Alright, they still look stressed, but you know, at least Bakila and Van der Costa are happy. So, I'm sorry, I've just been doing a bit of coughing and sneezing prior to this, so uh, I'm a bit bunged up. Fatty Kamachi. I think it's something with the training. I honestly think it's something with the training, but I don't know what it is. I think I've just got to get more involved because my assistant's dealing with it at the moment, and it's disgusting. It's absolutely horrendous. I've never seen anything like it in any amount of times I've played football manager. So after bigging up the change before, we're actually just going to drop to Helalerbe's back where he needs to be, backboard's back where he needs to be, and Deckers comes in. So Fatty can actually goes off injured after two whole minutes. I've got to deal with all the training in the summer. It just it's not it's not normal. It can't be normal. Let me know if you're having these issues. Even though I've only got about three people commenting my videos at the moment. But it will grow. It will grow. I believe it. Ooh. Right, so in terms of the formation change, we're pretty solid because nothing has happened in any of the games we've had so far. Oh, <laughs> Terrible. Direct smashes it long. I'd like a highlight because I've not had to comment, uh, commentate on an actual highlight for a while now. Tells to have it on the right, give it into the middle with Osman. I think I've made this little joke before, probably not Leon Osman. <laughs> Maybe I just did it in my head. Uh, Osman has it again, but backboard steps in, takes the ball, van der Kast. We are in our own half. And that is a terrible pass by backboard. 
I think and they put it through and they're one and up. I think we I think we're just done. I think the players are tired. Mentally, emotionally tired. I feel it. I felt so good earlier this season. This is a real hammer blow to my love for this save. Moose keeps it out. Oh no, here they come again. They put it just wide. It was all going so positively. I'm not expecting to win. Like, like Our form earlier in the season was disgusting. That was outrageous. I never expected that. I never expected to carry that on at this stage. But I kind of hoped we'd be at this stage. Can someone put a tackle in? Terrible. Is that a corner? No. I kind of hoped we'd be at this stage in terms of getting to a playoff in the second season. I thought it'd be going at the first round, admittedly. Um, but I hoped we'd get here by this point. But kind of more naturally, because as it stands, we've just we've had half a season on and half a season off, and it's terrible. I didn't show you in the last episode, because you see the, the four periods, and we had that one really good period, and then one where we finished like fifth, and the others are like 15th and second from last. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. It's truly terrible. We are not creating anything here. We're down on possession, we're down on shots, we're down on absolutely everything. We're not looking good. I don't know what's happened with the team. Oh, I'm just going to click and hope. And Panis, I'm fed up with you now. I'm bored. I'm bored of your nonsense. You know what? Actually, while we're here, I'm bored of your nonsense as well, Mustafa Ozel. You can sod off. You can all sod off. I actually don't care. Um... What else can you do? Nothing. I made three subs already because we had an injury within the first few seconds of the game. Well, here we go. We're on the left, Halil Bay, who's done nothing for a while because he's been injured constantly. Backboard, out wide to Van der Kast, who's now on the right because we brought Ate on. There's a cross into the middle. Halil Bay scores. Oh, my word. I've not seen us. Well, I've not seen a score. For, it's probably not been that long, but it feels like forever. I'm so, I'm so happy inside. So Heather Lerbe sort of carries the move on from the throw-in. There you go, back with the throw-ins. And then works his way into the middle. We've got three guys that he could, that Van der Kast could have aimed for. It managed to get to Lerbe at the back stick, so all good. But here come Telstar. Can we get a tackle in? They've got it at the left-back position. They've hoofed it forwards. Van Wetten gets ahead on it. And Heather Lerbe should get the ball. Does, and then loses it. That was lazy. And then Ozel just not switched on at left back. And they head it against the bar from about six yards. We should be 2-1 down. As it stands, we are still in with a shot of going up. <laughs> How ridiculous. Canberra are doing okay in the other game, I see. My enemies. I feel like I've got a, a thing with Canberra. I don't know why. Just because they ran us really close in the second period this season. I just... I dislike them. Histori I've actually, historically, I have actually played with them for a few hours on FM, like 08, I think. I don't know, I can't remember why. I think they had a player I liked the look of. So I actually have been in the Juppa League before, but it just, I don't know, I couldn't be bothered at the time. But they're through on goal now, Telstar, and they just smash it well over the bar. Luke Decker's looked out of position and uncomfortable and on a booking there too. We can't change him though because we've got no one. I mean, we've got another highlight. I was about to say, I can't hope it just runs the end of the game now because we've not looked good. Hey, is that not a foul? I don't know what's happened. I'm going to have to watch this in 3D between games. Direct. All he has to do is just Stop it. I don't know if he was just muscled off the ball. That's five minutes of injury time. I haven't changed anything. I've not changed enough. I've not... Not meddled with the tactics enough, have I? Yeah. 
So we've lost 2-1 in the first leg. Next one's not for a week. Kamachi's out for four to five weeks. Look at this form. Look at it. It's so bad. We didn't deserve anything from that game. We did nothing. We didn't do a single thing. I've got to do something drastic. There's no point even changing anyone at this stage because we'll get a million injuries before the next one. I'll see you for the second leg. Oh, no, I won't. Win the sauce, hit a new low. Nine games without a win. That's fantastic news. Hey, so welcome back. We are here for the second leg of the playoffs. This adds even more confusion. I don't know what's going on. Oss, if they qualify for this round, have been drawn away from home in the Eredivisie playoff third round and face NAC Breda. I thought we were meant to be playing... What is that? What is that? This is the most ridiculous set of playoffs I've ever seen. So yeah, this is, we, did, we did go in for the first round, so I'm not just... So we play... <laughs> I don't get it. So teams from the Joppa League play off against each other in the first round. So it's only the top ones going to the second round. Like everyone else drops into the first. So the winners of us or Telstar play Excelsior. The other side play Willem 2. Then the other side of the draw, NAC, NEC, Fortuna and Hellman. The winners of those play the winners of these. So the Eredivisie sides have to face off loads of times to stay in the top division. Which I think is insane. It's just not something I'm used to. Um, so it explains the confusion, I suppose. I thought it was meant to be like a one-off game against the top division side. So no more injuries, thankfully. Kamachi is obviously out. So we have brought in Jeremy Van Mullen into the ball-winning midfielder role. Everything else stays the same for now. Oh, Bill's come back in at right back for Tien Dali. Let's go. So yeah, let's get into it. I... I mean, seeing as I'm not actually changing any tactics, I just keep assuming it's going to come good. Because it was going so well for so long, I just assume it will be okay. Um, but, yeah, probably not really. Uh, my confidence levels are very low. Considering we'd sort of thrown the league away and then we beat FC Eindhoven and we're three points behind them, to then be in this position is just ridiculous. I assume we're going out, which means I can play football manager on the train again, which is exciting because it's quite nice just to sit there and press space and scout players while you're commuting. Um, if not, then I'll have to figure out what on earth these playoffs are doing. Van der Kust, it was a back in the left back position. Direct smashes it long to Bokila, who's got all the time in the world. We're not playing very progressively here are we? we're doing a lot of sideways passes and tells to steal it and put it just wide is it confidence i mean obviously dynamics has taken a huge hit everyone's now really annoyed urbe on the right i mean what ben wetton come on oh my word what is going on it's just pathetic isn't it it's pathetic to watch that's not the De Boer we let go. Oh no, we didn't let go of De Boer, did we? Let go of Koeman. I think I've covered De Boer before. Ozel, don't muck around. Moose smashes it out. They let it bounce, which is a cardinal sin, but is that a, a thing? Or is it cardinal rule? I can't, I don't know. I've probably made up something. But Telstra threw on goal now, and that's probably game over, really, because I don't see us at this stage. We're not even getting a shot, let alone scoring. Two goals to take it to extra time. I don't know if away goals count. I'd already resigned myself to defeat, quite frankly. Um, so I didn't bother looking at the rules. I don't even know what to do in the summer. Because I did sign a few of these players up on longer term deals, as you know, because I thought, oh, we're doing pretty well. Maybe I shouldn't have given them deals. I'm not giving them something to play for now. We've got these lone guys back for another season as well, so it's very much going to be a lot of the same team. 
I think if I can just sort a couple of problem positions, then we'll see what happens, I guess. But centre mid very much on the cards, a defensive centre mid. I might even oh move saves. Might even drop to like a defensive mid. But I don't really want to sit with one in the middle. But then maybe I'll drop the attacking mid back and just make him an advanced playmaker on attack there. Because they should do a pretty similar role there, I'd imagine. So if they just give us a bit more in defence. I guess I guess the thing is we were scoring so much. We won we made a we broke a record for scoring goals in consecutive games. I think I've got an achievement for it as well. And oh Bokila's been put through by Hadilabe and Bokila scores. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm so depressed yet. We're only a goal away from being completely back in it and all evens. Um I can't remember what I was saying now. So Vandercast gives it to Halala, but in the middle, plays through Bakila. Yeah, I'm, we were scoring so many goals when we were winning. And I guess this is the point we just stopped scoring. So maybe we're just super clinical like that season at Newcastle. The, the season we signed Denver Bar on a free, he scored for the first half of the season. Then we signed Papi Sisse, he scored like 14 goals in 13 games. And we just dominated. And almost got Champions League football. Uh, maybe it was like that. Maybe we were just stupidly clinical for a while. When your wingers and your striker are on form, because Bokila went through a real good patch of form. Once we stopped fiddling with Van Pol and him, Bokila and the wingers were just disgusting. They've now sort of lost it. And I tell you what, I'm going to make... I mean, we've only made one chance. That could have just been anything. I know you kind of need to be solid to stay in the game. Who is annoyed? Urbe. Oh, I can't take you off. <laughs> I sort of need you. But Ampanis, yet again, has not shown up. This is like the last roll of the dice territory. We're going to move back to wingers. We're going to do the, the good old attacking thing, which I said so much. I think, Obviously, looking through and editing the videos, you realise how much you talk about it. And then I didn't actually see anything ever happen from it on camera. It just looks terrible. There we go. All the attacking moves are made. Our wingers are on attack. Uh, Ate should probably be an inside forward on attack. But I'll all winger for now. I've left backboard not on attack. We're closing down more. And yeah, that's it really. We're just trying to get some more going in the middle. So we've got thrown on the right with Bill. Halila Bay moves across and picks it up. Vandercast on the edge of the box now. Crosses it in. Oh, I was hoping for a bit of a mix up. Sort of everything all tense there. <laughs> Ridiculous. So De Boer eventually will clear it, which he does. Bill and Van Wetten get each other's way, but get the ball to Urbe, which is the right thing to do. Ate cuts in field, even though he's a winger, but that's what we know he does. Van der Kost on the right. Can he get across into the box? He can. Ate's in the back post and hits the post. Why didn't Bokila just hit it? It went past Bokila. Oh. Ozel, you've got all the time in the world. Don't do something stupid. I don't trust him anymore. I don't think he's playing for the shirt. Ball's just rolled across the pitch. Uh, direct. Nice and easy back to Moose, who shoves it long. But Keeler's going up for it and gets it. Drops it down for Van Mullum in the middle. Hello, Bay's dropped deep. Oh, they've smashed it long. Direct has got form for terrible mistakes. And what is that? He's cleared it straight to their man. And he puts it away. And that's probably that. We've gone from hitting the post with an absolute sitter to 3 1 down on the day. It's a highlight after the goal. Oh, it's putting me through all the emotions. Durette, though. Oh, what, are you, what is Durette? I'm, I was about to say I'm fed up of him. I really am sick of him. I'm sick of this team. I hate them all. Hopefully, I get sacked so I can end the series. <laughs> I can't deal with this. Oh, and they've been put through again. What has happened? Where's our defence gone? Oh, it's over. You're going to have to be... I'm sorry if you're listening to this. Rather than watching. I mean, you don't need to watch, really. Because... 
we just the ball's come in behind and this is the ball comes in behind they cross it over and they just got a man at the back stick who puts it in the back of the net which is what exactly what Ate should have done when it was one all so we would have been three all on aggregate as it stands they're five two up it's over it's completely I'm I'm done so Lars Rikas comes on for Ozel let's get some experience for these young guys and ton holes for Halliday. Bay. And we carry on. I don't see the point in chasing it. No, 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 no. Come on, Ed, you're better than that. I do see the point in chasing it. We've still got some pride we've got to get. Absolutely not. So we've moved our wing backs forward a little bit. Um, a table moving an inside forward on attack. I'm just going through the motions, quite frankly. Uh, we're going to stop retaining possession. And we'll just see. We'll play slightly wider, fairly wide. Sure. So probably going to concede more goals. Gerson Rodriguez, he's scored so many goals against me, he's ridiculous. Uh, back ball gets his head on a goal kick. Ate is there, plays through Bokila, who gets the ball back in their area. And that's an own goal, I assume. Yeah. He's stolen it in the area, Run, a, like let it roll wide. Tried to hit it from a stupid angle. And then... It's hit the post and gone off the keeper. That's how bad we are at the moment. We're relying on that. But there's 10 minutes to go. They've got a free kick. We've got four men forward. <laughs> if we can take it back, which we do, but keep us on goal. Come on. <laughs> it let me believe. I hate it. I hate it so much. Why would you let me believe? So it's four minutes of added time. It's the 90th minute and there's a highlight and they've smashed it up. <laughs> oh, they're playing such a dodgy game. And we've had the chances. We really have had the chances to get back into this a few times. And we've just not. It is really devastating. Fifteen seconds. And that's the end of season two for FC Oss. Top Oss, they're nicknamed. It's gonna take a while till we're top. There it is. We drop out with the playoffs. The worst part was at a hitting the post when it was one all. The second worst part, aside from while defending, that's obviously the worst of it all. You know what? Sod off. The worst part of it all is that we can't defend. But then Bo Keeler at the end, we still had four minutes or so plus injury time at that point. And he just smashed it wide. Dressing room atmosphere is below average. Got good support, good match cohesion. We're losing a few of the bigger names over the summer, so we might as well cover this now quickly. So we'll just quickly run through and have a look. So overall, we finished ninth, which is an improvement on last season when we finished 15th. It should have been a lot higher. But we'll have a look at the stages. Can I do that? League table. The yeah, overall league table, we finished ninth. We finished 16 points behind the leaders, but considering we... Haven't won for about a million games. <laughs> we we should have done okay. So first period we finished fifteenth. Second period we came third, as you remember. That's what qualified us for the playoffs. I think we would have got to them anyway, technically. Third period we finished fourth. So actually, in, in terms of oh gosh, in terms of third period, I'm clicking all over the place here. I'm just morbidly upset. In terms of third period, well, there's the fourth period. We finished eighteenth. One win, three draws, five defeats. Third period, right, let's have a look. 
And then EC dominated it. We actually came second in terms of teams that could go up. So there you go. Uh, top performance and stuff like that. I never really know how to do this, really. Let's have a look at this screen. I hate the squad screen this year. I can't make it work. Top performers, Wimber Keeler has actually got the highest average rating, which is amazing considering Backboard was on 7.3 10 games ago. But Bokila and Backboard are drawn. Bokila got 24 goals, Backboard 11. Other notable players, Urbe, Van der Kast got over 7. Everyone else is under 7. Direct, have you got a 6.92? You've been woeful. Uh, goals. Bokia 24, backboard 11, Van der Kast 9, Ate 8. So after he scored 8 before he started to get injured mid-season, he literally did not add to that at all. Urbe got 5, Van Pol 4. There you go, it just sort of drops off. Blimey. Let's have a look at this guy. There's some region who came up as like a recommended player. He's not had a club before, so I'm just going to see how he is. Just one and a half star, that's good. Five star potential, and a left back. He's got some okay mentals. I think we found our starting left back for next season. Um, I think, I don't know what to do next season. We've got a load of players on loan, and we're signing up this guy permanently, Van Mullum. Van Wetten, we're going to, we vetoed him coming in, I'm not going to carry on with him. Ozel is going to Reading, so he can sod off. So these four are going to be here. Kramer's going, Van Winnen. I think we can sign him on a free, but he's he's not really impressed me that much. 6.8 is fine, but fine isn't enough. Ate's here next season. Then we're losing a few of these guys, and a lot of them are just random amateur youngsters. So I'm going to release a lot of the amateurs. So I think for the most part, we're sticking with the same team, but we're just going to bring in some of the youth because we've got some good youth now. Um, if you've enjoyed that, I hate you, but please like and comment and subscribe. We'll be back for FC Hoss Season 3. I don't know how long to keep if, if we fail next season terribly. I mean, maybe I'll lose my job, who knows, but um, we'll see how, how long this takes us. If I start to lose love with the save, I'm going to stop, but I feel as if I've got the burning desire to, to fix this at the moment. I just don't seem like it, but I'll see you all again soon. Cheers.